the world how is everyone doing okay I have a couple new items to show you around um, firstly I have my little super wide version of the 86 that would be of course a racing car instead of a drift car but it's in 98 mil and it's fairly wide but I kept the proportion of the car itself uh, to scale and so here you go uh, it's pretty hard to see with the lights and the the white plastic but you have the intercooler sticking out in the front a bit like you would have on the Bozoku car you have the super super large flares on each side little bits of uh, venting all the venting holes at the back that are cut it down over there uh, the rear is flat with the spaces for the plate small spoiler over there but I think it's pretty accurate one and then just the grooves on the side of the doors like you would have the side panels and then top of the hood here you have the hood clip the pop-up headlights are up and and yeah that's pretty much it so this is going to be uh, probably part of a little group of uh, more of 80s 90s uh, cars that I'm planning to do so that's the first one uh, I had a person contact me last time about a prelude and I'm looking into um, different cars from basically from this period late 80s 90s like more square square looking cars uh, Japanese uh, I think mostly Japanese cars but I might do some uh, Europeans as well so that's the first one then I have two new molds for the classic mini chassis so this I'm really excited about I'm still uh, not done with the painting of the silver bead a new version so I'm gonna do all of them at the same time and this way I can display the four cars together so you have here the one that I call the blue devil which is based on a Bugatti and so this one is really really cool looking there's a lot of very nice detail hundreds of louvers all over the place a single exhaust coming out from the sides the size is recessed over there nice steering wheel double fuel filler over there this one I really like I think is going to be a really good match uh, next to the Mephisto and then you have the Union Type C which is uh, what is to become Audi uh, with all the exhaust sticking out from the side the, the seating position of course is all the way to the front so that's why I liked to do this one I had to change the front of course in order to be able to match uh, the chassis of the classic minis but I think still going to have the feel of that car the little square window over there the fuel filler on the top and yeah just body panels um, little bit of uh, venting at the rear this one is symmetrical at the back uh, compared to all the others that have a different side for the diff and the axle side so this is going to complete the classic minis which I'm going to be uh, working on a little bit harder uh, in the very near future while I'm waiting for the classic F1 and so this way we're gonna have a nice little collection of four buddies which are all uh, quite different in their style and I think are gonna be a really really cool match so of course for each one of them I have to redo the ABS uh, parts in the middle of the chassis in order to fit with the velcro on each buddy so this is a pretty quick thing to do and last but not least I've received all the little piece in order to mock up uh, my 128 uh, chassis that I've been uh, designing on the computer and this is the body that I've designed for it which I think is going to be a really cool body to make uh, for any other car as well I would have to do a new wing for it because the wing I have for this car over here attaches to the pods at the back so this is going to be unique to this car but I think I'll do a similar one with the uh, attachments on the sides over here I have of course my driver with my roll cage over here so this is nice this is going to be taped to the body itself and the body I'm very very happy with the way it came out so I'm gonna have quite a bit of work but I think this is going to be a really nice body to have uh, to the collection 
anyway and this is what the car is going to originally come with if everything goes as planned so that's still to be seen and so for the car i have the parts that will actually be in white plastic made in white plastic that i'm going to be able to test and then i have done the other parts in white plastic just for the sake of prototyping because i had such struggle uh, last time with the the cnc supplier that i didn't want to uh, get too many more done at the same time so i'm going to mock up the entire car in plastic at the moment and just see mechanically how everything works there were some parts that i tried like the dampener the damper tubes when i tried to have the ball and made together in the same time and it worked for here it didn't work for the other half so suspension is going to be changed other than that you can still have a look at what the chassis is going to look like so this is what is going to be the flex plate this is going to be the pod mounted at the back with of course a diffuser mounted at the back of the pod and then the wing mounted at the back of the diffuser or directly mounted to the pod so the pod itself uh, I didn't print the spacers but it is going to have spacers that basically redo this, the, the shape of the pod but in, in various uh, thickness but this is not important for right now i just want to try like mechanically how everything works so this will be all the parts that are going to be either uh, frp or carbon and this is the servo mount for the front uh, this is the floating front hand that is going to go and float on top of that with uh, the servo mount over here oh it's the wrong way around oh, this is the wrong way around all right and then what is going to sandwich on top of the servo mount and then we are going to have the uprights over there and I just received my quick release pins for the uprights so this is another thing I'm going to try um, let's see if I can do a quick assembly in front of your amazed eyes so this is uh, basically the system that I have on my uh, trike and my pan car and so i want to try to translate that into 128th scale uh, pretty much the entire philosophy of the of the chassis is what i'm trying to convey here and so this is going to allow to change the ride height or had a little bit of uh, dampening with o-rings or, or very small springs uh, ideally there will be no uh, spring in the front because the front end is going to be floating on top of that and so it's going to be able to pivot from right to left and it's going to be able to be changed in a caster angle depending on how you tighten and how many o-rings you put underneath here or it can be squeezed all the way down and be completely rigid as well uh, the chassis itself is going to have also let, let me finish with the front end uh, so servo mounts of course right in the middle over there and then this is going to be another FRP or carbon part and the servo is going to activate this here with a pivot point and you can see that I have many different can you focus my friend I have three different mounting holes on each side so that's going to be able to change of course the toe of the car depending on where you mount it left and right over here and so this is for the front end uh, the chassis is basically uh, without the bumper simply those two plates this is going to be mounted on brass poles above the chassis over here and the battery is actually going to be mounted with velcro tapes or tapes underneath here so it's going to be slightly in contact with the lower plate but mainly is going to be attached to the top plate so the entire chassis is going to be able to act uh, all the flex this is of course not the right material at all i just wanted to, to test assembly first but there's going to be a lot of, of flex from the chassis itself uh, which is going to be pretty good and the fact that i've removed uh, i've moved the the flex points of the rear end all the way to the front should give the rear end a lot more of a vertical a raise and 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 uh, droop than the the one that is more near to the front because the the, the point of pivot is just 
is just more far away so here you go this is going to be a little mock-up that I'm going to make and test uh, with all the other parts from the other uh, manufacturers when I have for the front end is going to be using the all-wheel drive uh, wheel like I have on the classic or on the trike the rear end is going to use the same uh, diff axles that I'm using on the trike and so on but it's going to be able to accommodate of course any axle over there and yeah so this is going to be uh, testing the assembly and all the parts uh, probably today I'll have some pictures uh, on Facebook uh, once this is assembled to kind of have a feel for what the car is going to look like and if everything goes right then I will order these one two three four uh, five FRP parts and get going with it and do some real real world prototyping and testing so this is the little updates for today as you might have seen on the Facebook uh, I have quite a few buddies uh, in the work so that is going to be coming on later once I'm done with all of these things so you can expect those uh, at least those three buddies in the very very near future I'm going to try to focus on finishing the classics uh, once and for all and do nice uh, comprehensive user guides for them as well and then this one is going to be uh, ready to test probably early next week and this one will not be ready until this is uh, this is out because I really plan to have this specifically released together with this car so yeah here you go I hope this is a bit inspiring to everyone and that everybody is doing fine where they are stay safe uh, if you're here in Hong Kong, go do your COVID tests. I did mine. I'm negative. And if everybody does his, we can go back to kind of a almost normal life for a little while. So, all right, everybody, stay safe and see you later. Bye bye.